Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Um, a very aggressive in to out swing here. So swinging at the camera lens almost here. Um, and the shot is a complete block by what I can see uh, from the 2D camera image you know, iPhone behind. Uh, so this guy's bought the app and he's sent his swing. Looks like he's recorded it on the course and sent it through. Let's see if we can give him some help. Um, definitely could think about swinging in a very different direction. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, what we see here is a young guy with an athletic, good, powerful movement. Um, but he wants to swing to the right, doesn't he? Look at that. I mean, he is swinging that club behind him very early and then pushing it away from him as he hits the ball. So the real classic kind of trying to hit from the inside, it looks like to me. Um, and the shot just looks like it goes straight right. Now, when I get people in who swing this way using GC2 HMT and we show them the numbers, I mean, this guy's probably swinging eight, 10 degrees to the right. When you show them that, so you show them the number and then you ask them, okay, and this is how I fi this fixes people so quickly often, certainly a young guy like that to swing 10 left. So I ask them to feel like they're swinging 10 left. Guess what number they often hit? <laughs> I guess you can work that one out. They often get near a zero. So for people like this, it's often a case of identifying the direction they're swinging on. And for him, I mean, it's just out there to the right. It's kind of like two o'clock, isn't it, stuff? And then asking them to swing maybe to 11 or 10 o'clock. So trying to rebalance where zero is. Um, I always say to him, it's similar to say I was going to throw this ball um, into this basket. I mean, he's just throwing it to the right every time because he's simply just throwing it over there. But he's not registering that he's throwing it. He's just registering a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. He's not thinking, oh, I'm missing him to the right. Sometimes it's as easy as saying, why don't you try and maybe miss it to the left? Oh, OK. Yeah. And they either do, and then they know where right is, they know where left is, and the next one goes in the middle, or it actually evens them out to the middle. Then what happens is when they start missing left, I keep saying maybe swing left, you know, miss it left, and they actually find out where left is, Often, and this sounds just too easy, doesn't it? But often for people like this, it's a case of Jens is saying, right, there's left. So you know where right is, that's default. I ask you to swing left and it's taken 10, 20, 50 shots, whatever. You now found a path, which is say five left. Try and swing between them. Try and swing that club towards target. So it's finding both sides of the spectrum that allow them to hit the target. And if you think about lots of the world's best players, they can hit both shots. It's very easy for them to find target because they know where both sides of target is, both shapes, so they can find those middle grounds or just play with one of those shapes if that's what feels more comfortable with. Other things you could do, you could think about taking the club back, take away positions where you try and feel like the club's more in front of your body, backswing positions where you get it over your right shoulder, where for you the club is behind your body and then kind of around your right shoulder. Uh, downswing positions which would help you, you could think about moving to the left and opening your hips and shoulders up to try and pull that path a bit further left. Definitely for people like this, I like to see them exit left. So try and feel like the handle of the club is coming down around the left leg. So as they get the club down near the right leg, it'll start raising into the ball and then start coming around the left leg rather than they're very keen to try and swing almost out to kind of two o'clock or even down towards the target, which often will actually push the club to the right. Doesn't matter which fork you're using, you'll be amazed how much success you have with simply measuring and then telling them to swing further left. Um, it, it's a case of kind of empowering them, giving them the confidence to play rather than just stand there and hit their shot, which they think is close, but suffer from their bad shot. I mean, he's hitting a long way from the inside. Hope that helps. Interesting one, slightly different. Again, you got the classic kind of take away and open up position, which anyone could have really said for millions of years, or even I think often with modern measurements it's more a case of just showing them their fault and asking them either to do the opposite or even to just stop doing it sometimes i wonder why i even get paid for a lesson you're swinging it wrong swing it right <laughs> so i mean it's it's funny isn't it all the numbers people say all oh, the tech and it's so confusing often i find when i teach them the numbers actually the thought that the player stands there and hits the ball with once all the number talk is over is sometimes the most simplistic thought. Like, you swing too far to the right, why don't you swing to the left? Without the numbers, if you came for a lesson and did that, you'd probably feel like you didn't get enough information and you'd want more of this position kind of based 
jargon which would make you feel like you're getting a more technical paid for session maybe that's why coaches like myself went that route before these machines were around thanks for watching post comments down below love to hear and we'll speak to you all soon so if you like what's going on here don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel also thumbs up the video post comments love to hear what you guys got to say let's keep it social the more we talk the more we share the easier this game will get for uh, for everybody so if you want to find me on facebook here you can find me on facebook if you want to tweet me Find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my golf app. Um, a very aggressive in to out swing here. So swinging at the camera lens almost here. Um, and the shot is a complete block by what I can see uh, from the 2D camera image you know, iPhone behind. Uh, so this guy's bought the app and he's sent his swing, looks like he's recorded it on the course and sent it through. Let's see if we can give him some help. Um, definitely could think about swinging in a very different direction. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, what we see here is a young guy with an athletic, good, powerful movement. Um, but he wants to swing to the right, doesn't he? Look at that. I mean, he is swinging that club behind him very early and then pushing it away from him as he hits the ball. So the real classic kind of trying to hit from the inside.